thank you very much. I'm very happy to stay here in Penguin Leaf for the first time. But first of all, I would like to tell you the first time I discovered a magic shop. I was a child, I was walking in the street in Buenos Aires, and stopped in front of the glass window. I could see through the window the, the salesman. He would go like this, and I remember he showed the tricks. He took a red seal from the pocket, and he began to put it into his fist. He did this, the, I don't know how, but the seal gone. So I went into the shop, and I asked him, please, can you show me the red seal trick? He told me, of course. This is my best. I will show you. And I remember he took off from his pocket. For me, it was the same one. I remember very well he showed it. Ah, he showed the hands clearly empty. He stand up like an artist. He took the red silk and began to put it into his fist. Or he did this, I don't know how, but the silk gone again. Oh my God. So I beg him, I beg him, please, can you explain me the second? He told me, look, this is, uh, you, you have to pay. This is, uh, okay, how much? Ten pesos. That was all my money, so I pay him. He told me, the, the secret is very simple. It's not the hand, nor in the coat. It's in the pocket, because there you have to put the red silk I will give you. This one, look, step by step. First of all, you have to show the silk. Second, you have to show the hands. You stand up like an artist. You take the red silk and you begin to put it all into the... This is not important. The important is to close the fist and the silk will vanish. Uh, uh, what's your name? Come here. You can touch. No, no plastic. No plastic finger. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I went home. I gathered all my friends. I, I put on a, a jacket of my father, a, a coat from my grandfather, <laughs> and instead of banish, it turned into a cane. It was not the same, but the people <laughs> liked it very much. It was my beginning. <laughs> really? It was the beginning. I, I love it so much. Uh, I'll do a couple of more effects, and then we'll go and into the explanation. What's your name? Can you come here, Matt? Let's give him a round of applause. And you, sir, again, come here. How are you doing? Great. How are you? Thank you very much for your help. We will work with our imagination. Okay? okay. The best we have, the imagination. And uh, paper bag is from the plane. I swear I didn't use it. <laughs> really, it's, it's empty. Uh, empty. My hands empty. Yeah. And is there anything in the, you can put your hand in, in the but nothing. No. But I can imagine, oh, look, I imagine a ball. You can see it, because it's my imagination. It's there. Look, can you see it? Oh, it's there. <laughs> can you see it? No. no, because it's my imagination. Can you see it? No. But I can see it. Look, it's here. Now, now, can you see it? No way. Put your hand into the back. Is it really? Yes. Take it, please. Take it off and show us. It's a ball. <laughs> Real ball. So now we play not with the imagination. Now we play with the, oh, again, the imagination because it's not anymore in the bag. But you will not believe it's still in the bag. Look. Take it for me. For Ah, I have a gun. Again, can you throw the ball in the in air, please? Now, <laughs> two pieces. Oh. <laughs> one for you and <laughs> one for me, okay? Please, throw the ball. Woo! Oh, it's here. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is a ball. This is not a regular ball, no. This is a golf ball. Can you see it? Nothing, nothing, oh, it's here. It's, a, <laughs> it's an invisible ball, look, it's there. <laughs> One more time, now with a toy trumpet. I will cover it with a toy trumpet. Can you see it? Whoop, it goes up. Can you see it? One, two, three, it goes down. Oh, sometimes it, it happens. <laughs> it's stuck there in the, oh, 
It's there. <laughs> One more time. It's a regular ball. Uh, regular ball. Uh, uh, I have another one. Don't worry. <laughs> this one. Can you see it? I have to rub it. Nothing and nothing. Gone. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I have something for you. I have something for you. A, a different. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Do you like to play a game? What's your name, sir? Please, sir. Please come here. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you, you can win a prize. I have a very beautiful prize. Uh, it has to be with a, with a scissor. Pay, pay attention, sir, because uh, you have to cut, really cut. I have here, look, uh, a piece of rope. Very easy. Only a piece of rope and you with the scissors. You have to cut this rope in two pieces. But to win the prize, you have to cut it in two equal pieces. What do you think? You okay? Oh, yeah. Not easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Yes. When I say equal, it's exactly equal. Not a little bit. Equal. <laughs> because I have a broken English. Yes, please, cut. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. 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 Ah, oh, he's, okay. Yes, yes. Ah. Can you? But he will not cut. It's a show. He has had to, to cut. Oh, my God. It's not your fault. It's my fault because it's my broken English. <sighs> then do, you, do you have ropes? Uh, no, it's, it's my fault. It may, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's, it's a problem because I didn't bring more, you know, more. Uh, I would try to do it anyway. Look, two ropes, two ropes. One, two, three. Ah, it's one piece. You can <laughs> check it, please. You can, you can say Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. You can take it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. I will do a tiny trick. T too tiny. Too tiny. It's, it's the banishing of a coin. That's all. But it's a good one. Uh, what's your name? Can you help me? Please li leave him a, a round of applause to my friend here. Hello. Hello. Well, it's the banishing of the coin. That's all. But I like it. Uh, but it will not banish in my hand. It will banish in your hand. Wow. Please, can you open your hand? Palms up. Close this thumb. Okay. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. I will put it there. Can you feel the coin? Yes. Is it a real coin? Yes. But if I banish now in this way, maybe you can discover the secret. And I don't want you to know the secret. So I will cover it with this. But this is a small thing, you know. Not too much. Not too much. So, very, very clearly, the coin there, yes. I will cover very clearly, very clear. <sighs> Touch two times. Is it there? Yes. Let me see. No. No coin, no nothing. Thank you very much. Well, ma many people ask me, okay, Michelle, I think you have used a, a kind of pool or something like that. What do you think, magicians? Yes, but there's nothing, no pools, no nothing. I'm kidding. <laughs> Because I have used what I call the invisible hand. The invisible hand is a kind of pull, but quite different. Let's see there in the screen, we will talk about the, the beginning. You know, the beginning uh, of the invisible hand has, has one story. And the story begins in the gambling world. Yes, that, that's the beginning. That's maybe 100 or more years ago, the gamblers, some gamblers used this kind of machines. Uh, in this book, wonderful book, uh, Sharps and Flats of Jean Neville Masculin, there's a chapter, a complete chapter, describing uh, many different models of holdouts. 
Uh, this one is very special. It's the Keplinger. Kepling is a very strange machine, quite different than the one I use. But it's interesting to know the, the, so where, we, we, where we are, where we, we, we begin with our circuit. Um, so this was Keplinger. It's in the middle. He was kept in the middle uh, of the cheating playing cards. Uh, the people n knew he was w using something, but they, they couldn't catch. So they were in a room playing cards. One of the gentlemen went to the door, lock it, and take it from here. Huh? And they discovered something in, in, in their legs. Let's see again. So th when they spread the, the legs, they could discover that a car appeared from the sleeve and that was the way he was cheating and this is one Kipling machine so they didn't kill him but they asked him to, to make one for each of the players <laughs> <That's a story. laughs> real true story and now let's see how it works what, what you see goes uh, suppose with the jacket on but in this way you can see goes up the sleeve down under the sheet to the leg under the pants, and you connect the thread to a hook. When you stretch the, the legs, the, the car appears. Uh, that's the beginning, that's a Kippinger. Well, uh, but th this is the true master, Jack Miller. Jack Miller from Brooklyn, New York. He was the first magician that decided to use one holdout in magic. So I take off my coat, my, my hat to this great magician, Jack Miller. This is one Jack Miller original holdout. It's a kind of holdout that works by weight, by gravity. Uh, here's his book. Like, he never wrote a book. He gave lessons. Uh, but uh, after his death, Ed Mitchell from Tannen wrote this tiny booklet, wonderful booklet that was my beginning with this booklet uh, 40 years ago. Um, and th this is a, a boy in a candy shop. <laughs> yes, I love these apparatus, I love them. So uh, let's see the description of the apparatus, okay? So it's very, very, very simple. And that's the, the, the way I like to be it simple. So you have three parts, an nylon thread, then we will talk about the, the length. It's very important, the length. There you have a weight, and at the end of the weight is an alligator, alligator clip. And we cover with a piece of elastic plastic tube, eh? both the weight with the alligator. And you know, on the other end of the thread, you have a plastic clip, and from the clip, you have an elastic with a safety pin. Okay. That's the, and we will see now in a moment. Uh, let's see how to install it in your jacket. First of all, you, you, t you take the safety pin and you hook it up into the left sleeve at four inches from the edge. That's only to maintain the plastic clip hanging close the edge. That's the, the only use. Then you take the weight and you pull it up the sleeve and finally drop it in your right, in right inner coat pocket. That's all, that's all. But in this way, when you take off your coat, uh, your jacket, uh, the people can see the line at the back. So to avoid that, we open, not cut, open the lining at, at the door, both opening of, 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 the, of the sleeves a little bit, and we pull the thread between the lining and the coat cloth, okay? So it works exactly alike, but when you take off the coat, the, the lining there is invisible, okay? Now, le let's see, we have three positions. Once you, you have installed it in, in your jacket, there are three positions. The first one is turn off. So you put on your, your jacket, it's turn off, doesn't work. Then a middle position, stand by, like the TV with the red light. 
you only have to take the weight from the inner coat pocket and you drop it into your right sleeve. So it's just for, for the beginning, but not working yet. Okay? Standby position. And turn on, you take with the right hand the a plastic hook inside the left sleeve and you hook it up into your watch strap. And now it is working on. And let's see the basic movement. This is very important. Uh, standing with your arms to the right of the body, the weight must hang around the elbow, a little bit down the elbow, okay? Like you see there. Now, you have to maintain the right uh, arm die, stride. You lift your left hand and the weight begins to go down. You go up and go down and, and another time arrive to, to your fingers. Let's see back. Look, the movements back. Okay. There. 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 Again. Can you see? Okay. Now, uh, let's see in real. Let's see here in real with my jacket. So, uh, can you help me? Okay, thank you very much. Please take the coat here. Uh, what I will do is to take off the invisible hand just in front of you. I will do it very fast because I want to show you slowly how to install it. Ah, here's the secret. Ah, I was cheating. <laughs> Not real magic. Not real magic. So, here we are. So, can you see? Can we do a close-up here? So, we have a weight uh, with the alligator clip. If, if I push here, it opens the mouth and we can catch anything, you know. You can also catch a magnet and the magnet can catch all, all, all the uh, coins and metals, okay? Here you have a, a ring. There you tie the, uh, the nylon. The nylon is very important because, you know, the nylon, fishing nylon, is very strong. And the other quality uh, is that it slides very well. So the, the two elements are very important. It's strong, very strong, and slide very well, okay? The other end, you have a plastic clip. A plastic clip, there. This part, you will hook it up in your wash strap, there. So you will hook up to, for the working and you take it off so you can take off the, the coat, okay? But there in the plastic, you have one piece of uh, elastic with a safety pin. Is this clear? Clear. Now, how to install it? As we have seen in the, in the presentation. First of all, you take the safety pin and you will hook it up inside the left slip there. But once you know where to put it, what I have done is to sew a piece of strong material. So each time you take it off for any reason, then it is very easy to, to recognize the place to put it again. Okay? You don't have to try an error. So you hook it up. The only reason of this is to maintain this clip hanging close the edge. So when you want to hook it up to your wash strap, you take it and hook it up. You take it off and it will maintain hanging. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, you take the weight and you push it up through the left slip until it arrives here. And as I told you, when you drop it here to the right inner coat pocket, it is ready. But remember what I told you. Uh, when you take off the, the coat, the people will see this, okay? So, this is what I have done. Uh, we will show in this way, please. Thank you for your help. At the opening of the slip in every jacket in, in the world, it, they're made alike. There's one straight saw. So, you have to open the, the sewing, not, not cut. You open, you only tear the thread and you open a little bit here and here. So now you will do exactly like at the beginning, but 
first you will run the weight and the thread between the coat and the lining, okay? The coat cloth and the lining, and it works perfectly. So put your hands in this way, okay? Goes here, appears here, and I put it in your in the inner right coat pocket. So now you can show the coat absolutely free. No, thank you very much. <laughs> so is it clear? So it's turned off. You can put on the the jacket, and remember that here you have the the plastic clip. You remember here. So when you want to use it, you take the plastic clip and you hook it up in your watch strap. So now I am in standby position because it's not working. Remember the weight is here, waiting to be dropped into the slip. So in this position you can talk, no problem. There's no uh, problem that appears the, 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 the weight. Now when you want to use it, you go to the pocket to take a deck of cards or anything and you drop the weight into the sleeve and now it is working. Is it clear? Now, let's see with one gimmick, one of the gimmicks to see the, the basic moves as we have seen there in the presentation. Uh, you can use the invisible hand alone or attaching different accessories. In this case, it's the classic ball dropper, usually used here to cast the balls. Uh, all the extra gimmicks, you have to make them to be grasped by the elevator clip, surely, like this, okay? And now you can attach a ball. You can also attach here a strong magnet and to put a strong magnet in, inside the ball, okay? Now, Let's see the basic movement. I will turn around so you can see. Do you remember? Stand with the arms to the side of the body. The weight must be around here. So I maintain the, the right dead. And while I lift my left hand, look. <laughs> when I drop, look here. Can you see? Yes. Yes. But this is very interesting because you can realize that you have a misdirection involved in the system because the trick will work here. But to make the trip, you have to move this hand so it appears like a misdirection. <laughs> you don't have to think to do the misdirection. So I <coughs> lift my hand, appears, drop and disappears. So we de develop some movements to cover all this. One of the mitigations is to use this pocket. Let's see, let's see, one moment. Let's see the gimmick of the silk. So let's explain the first, but I love this, the story of my life when I discover a magic shop. Here I have used one uh, silk pool. This is one universal pool without the cap. And here uh, something to attach it to the alligator, okay? Now, at the beginning, you remember, I put the silk here. Why? Because it gives me one very good misdirection. I always show my hands while I talk. I come from Italians, so it's very easy for me to talk with the hands. But that's important to show the hands empty. So then I drop, then I drop. When I go here to take the silk, here I have the gimmick. Let's see from the back. I show my hands, drop when I take the silk, I have the, the gimmick. Is it clear? Now, when I put the silk, not into the hand, into the pool, I stop. And I will move this hand to do like a, a magical gesture. And this hand stays steady. Look what happened. Have you seen? <laughs> It's impossible to see from the front. Look, this is the silk. I do this and it vanishes. But the hand is steady. <laughs> Why? Because the circuit is done by this hand. Look from the, from the back. There, this hand doesn't move when I do this. Okay? 
Or you can do something like that. Can you help me? Come here. Suppose I give you a, a magic wand. Here, you take it here. Okay, it's a magic wand. So uh, this is very nice because you, you take the, the silk. Oh, vanish. So the, the movement, the circuit movement is done while I stretch my hand there. Let's see from the back. So the audience is there, okay? So uh, remember this hand, no movement. So you push the silk, look here. While I go here, it vanishes. So it's covered by this, thank you very much, by, by this movement. Is it clear? Yes. Well, you have to repeat for the routine three times. Three times. So you have to recover the silk. Let's see one more time the basic move. I show the hands, thumbed up in this way. While I put this, it's, it's inside the eh? vanish. So I have to recover because it's always the same silk. I say, okay. I drop hands and with my gesture, I will explain. I will explain. I bring the hand here. And while I bring, bring the hand here, I will explain. They will give me hands to my hand. So everybody, because this is dead, I will explain it. And I take it with these three fingers. I leave these two fingers free. And in this way, I go into the pocket. There, I pinch a little bit the silk. I drop this hand and the, the, the pull goes up the sleeve and the silk is free. Let's see uh, online. So he showed the hands and he told me, I will explain it for you. He put the silk into his hand. He did this, this, I don't know how, but the silk gone. And he told me, don't worry, I will explain. I will give you the silk. You will put the silk into your pocket. For me, it was the same one. Is it clear? Yeah. So you recover. Uh, if you have to do a one hour show, you can repeat it 55 times. <laughs> <laughs> so the routine is very good. Why I say that? Because I have done it many, many years. But it needs one climax. So I decided to use very, <laughs> the most classic is the pain king with the same silk. It's classical, but it's very strong because you have repeated three times the same banish. So when you appears the, 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 the cane is, is very strong, they don't expect, they applaud and the audience recognize immediately it is the end. So they applaud. Is it clear? Okay. Um, let's see the ball. Uh, the, the, the ball is, is a complex routine. Let's see the basic move with the ball and the holdout only with those elements. Th then we will talk about the, the back. So here you have the loader, um, the clip there. Uh, many people ask me, but, but Michel, you have changed the, the gimmicks. Yes, I, I did it in front of you many times in front of you. I do this with the back. I open here. I put the, the ball here and I put a rubber band here. So it is there, but from the front, you cannot see anything. You, got, you can have it in the pocket. So I drop my hand and say, who can help me? When I say me, I, I have the weight here. Oh, you say, can you help me? At uh, that moment, you clip the, the ball there. You take the packet, you stretch the arms, and now the, the ball is here, and you are clean. And it's, it's a cold moment, it's no problem, you know. The people is, you are not doing a trick yet. So, you have the spectator. And now, you show the back. Let's see first the basic move of the ball, okay? So, you have the ball, you show both hands, you rub it, and you say, nothing, nothing, it's here, vanish. Uh, it, it's there, you cannot see, but it's there. 
look it's there how i do i do this move to move to, to show my hands empty finishing my left drop i do the rubbing move only to 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 catch the the holder when i do this the weight comes to my hand okay so show the hands drop there i have it okay and i have it with these fingers so i touch the ball put it into the holder and don't move them i will move this hand look what happened when i stretch to to show it's empty this goes into the slip i do a false deposit and vanish again for the reappearance i took the invisible ball drop my hand do the rubbing and the the ball arrives to my hand i curl my middle finger only my middle finger when i stretch my hand i have the ball there and the the weight is here let's do it on time this is not a regular ball this is a golf nothing nothing is here so you can see it it's here you cannot see it it's there okay let's see the trumpet this is from the jack miller book i love this so this is like the conan ball die baron conan ball you know when you do this you move your first finger and the ball will roll to the right hand this looks like this okay like this from the front is like this so you have it here so you do this and drop it at the top when you show when you show the weight comes here so you take the ball and put it into the 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 holder you stretch the hands disappears and i say i show my hands drop and say oh sometimes it happens and bring this to my eyes when i bring this to my eyes the weight come here so i can take the ball again gather my hands when i blow <coughs> appears the ball okay let's see very fast the the back routine so the ball is there in the slip i show the back to one to the other throw it now can you see it he says no i transfer show my hand drop can you see it no when i bring the back to my eyes the ball come to my to my right hand i say yes it is there look when i go there the weight fly up the sleeve and i have the the hand with the ball i go there i leave the ball and I say here's the ball so i am one step ahead can you see it and the spectator usually say oh yes he's surprised because it's real there so now i will use the top it vanisher so at the third one time two times in the third time i will sorry thank you so very much so the the floor is irregular and the magician is also irregular <laughs> so there you have it it's a very nice move because two times they see at the third time it varies okay i give the ball and the gun two pieces one for me and there i take the ball pound the ball leave it there and the other for you you throw it can you see it yes and the ball is there is it clear thank you very much <laughs> so this is the the ball let's see the the rope too many things okay this is the original routine is from bill neff bill neff was a very important magician from the united states he used to have a ghost show and also a big uh stage show with illusions in one moment he went into the front in front of the curtain with a tiny rope please cut it but the problem is the method you have to be prepared at the beginning you have to hello I, you cannot <laughs> leave it here 
But the, the effect is wonderful because it looks like real magic. With the invisible hand, it's very easy. So, you don't need one extra gimmick, only the rope. The rope must be soft, and it's longer than you have seen. Because you have one part hidden. How? Look, like this, very easy. One, two, three folds. You do a loop to maintain that part. So it is one third of the length, one third. So here you can see uh, two thirds. So the spectator will cut here. And when I stretch this part, you'll see exactly the same length, okay? Now, I like to take it from here very clearly. So I do this. It's a, it's a way to, to be prepared, that's all, nothing special. And I put this in my back pocket and let hang in the, the bundle, okay? There. What's the scissors? What well, the scissors here? So, can you help me? Thank you very much. So, it's very clean. You can do it at any moment. And that's very good at the beginning of the show, in the middle of the show, when you want. So you are clean, and you say, I have a, a rope here. So when you show, you have the, the bundle here, hidden. But that's all. You can show it very clearly, very clear, nothing to hide. You do the show that he has to cut, and you cut. Okay? Say, but he will not cut. Oh, my God, that's a problem. Remember, I have the bundle here. If I stretch this row, you will see the same size than at the beginning. So, here, I choose the middle of this rope, here. Because this will go, will fly up the slip. If I catch in the middle, it will, the shortest length. If I, if I clip it here, it will be much longer. And you don't want, okay? So, say, so, oh, this is a problem. And transfer here to here and drop my hand. Do you know why? Because I didn't bring more rope. When I open the jacket, the weight comes to the slip. Come, look here. When I open the jacket, comes to my, to my hand, okay? Take the weight, and I repeat the movement here. I didn't bring more. When I come here, at, at, in a continuous movement, you clip a little bit here. It's clipped, look. It is clipped. One more time. I didn't bring more, but I'll try to do it anyway. It's done. It is clipped. Now it's very clear because you can show both hands, both sides. And now we'll do three movements at the, th at the same time. One, two. When you say three, you will release this hand. You will take this and, and you will stretch out. Looks difficult and it's very easy. Look, one, two, three. And it's <laughs> like a miracle. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, let's see. There, there are many, 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 many possibilities. Many. Yes, please. What is the uh, weight made of? It's it's a plomo plum plum. Yeah, yeah, like a lead weight. Uh, it's uh, like the fishing. It's like the fishing right. weight. You yeah. know the fishing weight exactly the same. Yeah? Maybe eighty grams. <sighs> you have to be careful because the the the, the weighter is easier, but it would do look do like this. You know, the lighter it will be more difficult. So eighty grams. Is, is okay. You have to trial and error. Okay? Now for the vanishing, you need an iron coin or you can do it with a beer cup. That's a good idea because you buy the beer, you drink the beer, <laughs> and then you do the trick. <laughs> so, why? Because here you have a strong magnet, so it will catch the coin or the bottle cup and the seal, both for the vanish. And it's very nice to, for the preparation. I will show you because you can do it at any moment. It's a very good trick to do 
and a cocktail because you can do it surrounded and it's very strong because they don't expect, you know. So you have the tiny silk, the coin there, the coin there, and here the magnet. So it's like a sandwich. So this uh, is always ready hmm? and it's in your pocket. So at any moment, you go to the pocket and you have this ready. I say, who can, who can help me? When you say me, you take the weight, you grasp it there, you take everything, but especially the silk. You go forward with your arms and the coin and the silk is here, but the weight fly up the slip so you are clean. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you can do it at any moment. So can you help me? Thank you very much. So uh, I will banish the, the coin, it will banish in your hand. I do this very slowly because the banishing will be very fast. So it's very important to do a long presentation, slowly presentation. They remember everything because the banishing will be very fast. Okay, so you show the hand, open the hand, I will put it here. Is it clear? Is it a real coin? Because they want, I want them to expect that I will banish the coin, that's all. And very clearly, I show the silk and cover here. And I try to leave the middle of the silk on the coin. Okay? Show my hands and I say, you have to touch three times. I bring my hand to my chest. And in that moment, the, the, the weight with the magnet comes here. And I palm like the Italian palm. Okay, so you can show the hands in, in this way. Okay, so touch. While he touch, you come here. And then you will go to touch also. Can you do a close up here? So when I reach the coin, the magnet will attract the coin and will trap the silk, you know, there. And you search, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's not the, 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 right, the right position, you know, because I have blocked it. Okay, now, fold the thumb. Okay, perfect. One more time. There. So, show my hand. Touch three times. Okay, perfect. Look, nothing. <laughs> it's real magic. Thank you very much. Thank you.